Welcome to the Eric Avisar Show. Virginia Tech and Duke were given all they could handle by Mother Nature on Saturday uh, with Virginia Tech taking on Duke in Lane Stadium in ACC action. The Hokies winning ugly, taking care of what they had to do by a 24-3 to margin in Lane Stadium. Uh, certainly not the most exciting game necessarily. I mean, it was extremely difficult for both teams to pass with increasingly worse weather conditions. I mean, if you saw the end of that game, you could see some unbelievably massive puddles on that field. I don't know how anybody uh, on that field was able to keep hold uh, of their footing. It was honestly pretty ridiculous, you know, what they uh, had to go through out there. But, you know, uh, Josh Jackson threw for 200 yards and a touchdown, ran for a very nice touchdown as well. You know, he's having uh, one of the best freshman seasons that we've ever seen uh, out of a Virginia Tech quarterback. And I'm not a fan of comparing Jackson to Michael Vick because Michael Vick set uh, such a lofty standard for any quarterback to be held to, uh, particularly at Virginia Tech. So, but with the way Jackson's playing, I have to admit those comparisons are going to continue. Um, you know, he's never going to be as fast as Michael Vick, surely, but he is a phenomenal decision maker, really, really well composed, just did a great job of, you know, managing the game. So went 13 of 27 for 200 yards and a touchdown, no picks. That's about as good of a stat line I think Fuente could have asked uh, out of him coming into this game. So, you know, the Hokies got the scoring going with a, a touchdown from Deshaun McLeese. You know, uh, Sean Savoy made a fantastic touchdown catch after what was honestly uh, a very risky throw that Jackson made off his back foot. But look, Duke couldn't move the ball. You know, they did not score a touchdown, of course. Uh, you know, Daniel Jones at quarterback uh, could only muster 82 yards passing, going 10 of 24. I mean, that really says it all. So, you know, defensively, Tremaine Edmonds led the Hokies with uh, 10 tackles. Mook Reynolds had two and a half tackles for loss. Hard, smart, tough. The lunch pail D once again getting the job done. I mean, let's be honest. That game was not in Blacksburg. It was in Bleaksburg. I mean, that was a, a true test for the Hokies. Could have easily been caught looking ahead to next week because a massive ACC showdown is about to take place. Virginia Tech will be traveling to take on Miami in what I think will be the de facto ACC championship semifinal game. The winner of that game, I expect uh, to be playing against presumably Clemson in the ACC title game. So, you know, once again, the Hokies doing what they had to do, taking care of business with that 24-3 to win uh, over Duke. Can't wait to see how this team continues to progress because the Hokies are looking like a top 10 team still with hope of reaching the college football playoffs. So thank you all so much for tuning in and please be sure to subscribe to my channel.